This is a lecture on how to deploy the container image in Azure Kubernetes service. So the steps are as follows. You create a resource group, create an Azure container registry, log into the Azure container registry, tag the image, push the image, create the AKS cluster, get AKS cluster credentials and create pods and services. So as to demonstrate this, we will take the red wine case study again and we will deploy the image to Azure Kubernetes services. So let's jump in and see the demo. For that we have Docker running and Kubernetes running in our local machine. Let me just uh, remove all the other images except the red wine image. So I have the red wine image here. So the first step is that we ensure that we are in the correct subscription. I am in the correct subscription. This is just housekeeping stuff. So the next two steps are build the Docker image and run the Docker. We will not do that since I already have the red wine image already here in my local machine. Okay. So what is the next step? You create a resource group. So I create a resource group with the location as Central India and the resource group as Wine Group. So let's do it. Okay. So we'll see it in the portal also. Let's refresh it. It might take some time. So while it is doing it, what we will do is that we will create also the, the container registry. So this creates a container registry and we have named it as AG Wine ACR. So let's go back and see of how it is going here. So the wine group is here and maybe it is taking time to refresh. So that is AG wine CR, the container registry should be there. So if I just type in the container registries, let's see whether, okay. So here we have got the container registry is already here. So we have got it. So the next part is that we log in to the container registry. with azacr login minus n giving the name of the registry let's while it does it what is the next step we'll tag the image so we'll have the red wine latest in my machine and i have to tag it so that i can push it to the container registry there so let me just do this also Okay, it's tagged. So let us see whether it's properly. So it is tagged here. You see, we have got the tagged tagged one with uh, with v1 and ag wine acr dot azucr dot io slash red wine and the tag is v1. Okay, so all that is done. Then we need to push the image into the container registry. So what what would happen is that this is the image in my local. Uh, machine and I need to push it. So I do a docker push. So this will take uh, some time because as you see it's around 2.389 GB. So what we will do is that let it do and we will pause the video and then I will come back so that uh, we can follow it quickly. And in the meantime, if you're following along with me, you just try to do this and it will take a couple of minutes to do it. So let me come back after it is done. Thank you. So I am back. Uh, it is being pushed to the registry. So let's check whether it's already there or not. So I go to the registry and the red wine is there and it has a tag of V1.
So excellent, everything is done. So what we do next is um, we uh, we create the cluster. So unfortunately, this will also take a bit of time. Create the cluster. So let's run it. So what is there in the cl cluster? It is is it a case create the resource group is one group. The name cluster is one. We creating a one node count and generate SSH keys for this and we attach it to the container registry. Okay, so what we'll do is let's run this and as usual what we will do this also will take some time so uh, we will have to take a uh, I'll stop the video and let it run and I'll come back again once it is done. Thank you. Bye. So I'm back again. Um, this cluster has been created. We see it has been created. Let's see in the portal. So we go to the home wine group. This is a cluster, the AKS cluster. And you are seeing the cluster is there. It has one node pool and it has got all the things down here. What we need to do right now is that once the cluster is created, we create the we get the AKS credentials. Okay. So it's already done. So AKS credentials is done. Now what we do is that we run this redwine azure.yml file so as to create the pods and service. So let's have a look at the redwine azure yml file. It composed it is composed of two things the deployment yml and the service yml. So what it is in the deployment yml it has a name the wine deploy. It has got a label wine deploy app. So we required three replicas of a pod and the label it would match is wine and the template that we are having is a pod template and it also has a label wine so this will match to this template label what is the image that it will do the wine image uh, is the name and the image is in this uh, registry what we have already done and the pod will run with a container port of 8501 similarly for the service it is a load balancer service and it it will as a selector is wine so it will connect to these pods which have the label of app so let's run it so we'll go back here and the command is kubectl apply minus f redwine azure dot yml so just run this over it is created so let's check it kubectl get service so one thing to note here is that the external IP is being created while let's see whether we have got the pods running or not. Kubectl get pods. So it is creating. Let it let us give it some time so that it can create the pods and we'll come back uh, when it is created. It's still creating. So let's come back when uh, the service has been created and the pods have been created. Thank you. So we are back again and let's see whether it's done or not. kubectl get pods. So all of them are running. kubectl get service. So this should get me the service. And so here's the service. We've got the Redwine service. And what is it? It has got an external IP of 52.172.238.43 with 8501. So what we will do is that we will go to here. Let's copy this uh, IP here. And we will go here. We will do this and 8501. Let's run it. And it is there. So let's run it here. It is giving a result 5.19. If I make it 12, so it changes to 
everything is running. So we have successfully deployed the container image in Azure Kubernetes service. If you're following along with me and if reach is safe, fantastic. Thank you so much. But what we will do is that let's explore the cluster. And so here's a cluster which is there. And um, let's see what are the things that is there in the Kubernetes service. So this is the service and ingresses. You've got the Redwine service. And here you see the external IP is 52.172.238.43. Uh, and the endpoints are there. And you can use these endpoints. Fantastic. And we can also see the pods which are also running. We've got three pods running. So fantastic. Uh, we have completed it. Thank you so much. Bye.